Hello and thank you for joining. We are here at the Smart Cities Conference in Boston with Andrew Till, the CTO of Harman Connected Services. So, Andrew, we just wanted to talk to you a little bit about the IoT Gateway announcement. Uh, tell us a little bit about that solution and how is that different from what's available in the marketplace? Absolutely. So, first of all, we spent a lot of time researching why we should develop a gateway and what the pain points were of our customers. What we found was that they were having a lot of trouble in the initial setup and configuration due to the number of options available in IoT. All right. So on the gateway, we've done a number of things. One is we built a database that stores the configurations of popular off-the-shelf sensors so that as soon as you connect the sensor to the gateway, it self-configures. We've also built an outbound interface to the cloud so that the easy uploading of data from the sensors and the gateway itself out into a data lake or a back-end storage environment. We have built-in software updating, so the gateway can be updated by an IT administrator or a building management team mm -hmm. to always keep the experience fresh and as new capabilities are released into the marketplace, they can instantly be rolled out. Mm -hmm. And we've also implemented support for edge analytics so that you don't always have to load up the data into the cloud if you want to perform some local scenarios uh, in real time. Got it. It's, is the standards compliant? Absolutely. Yes, we built the software stack based on an OS API model, and we continue to follow multiple different uh, industry standards and ecosystems because we know that for our customers, they will have many different choices they have to make, and we want to be able to support them on every step of that journey. So, do you have any um, industrial automation um, scenarios that you can describe, if not customer examples, of this IoT gateway deployment? Absolutely. Let me give you a very simple smart building sure. example. So most people are familiar with having a, a regular PRI sensor in a meeting room to turn off the lights yes. when the room is not being yes. used. That typically tends to work on whether there is movement or not in the room. Yes. But quite often when you're on a conference call or you're paying attention during a meeting, you may not be moving and the sensor will trip out the lights, yes. which can be quite annoying. What we've done is we've taken a grid eye sensor and implemented our own unique algorithm so that it can do heat mapping. Yes. What this means is you now know for certain whether the room is in use or not, so no more false positives. But you also start to understand how many people are in that room, so you understand the asset utilization and the interaction during the meeting, which can allow you to better plan for optimized meeting spaces and facilities to be available within that room. So here you make one simple change to the technology and suddenly you have three to four key benefits that help you get the best out of your building. Great. And from a perspective of Smart Cities Vertical, I heard you talking to someone about uh, solving park, uh, parking issues in cities as well. Yes, absolutely. So if we add a camera to the gateway sure. and then we use the local analytics, we can compare an image of the empty parking spaces with the real-time image and identify which vehicles are in which spaces, the type of vehicles, so are they parked correctly? And that can then be used to indicate that there are free parking spaces wherever the city needs to uh, provide parking. Thanks so much, that's most helpful. And thank you for joining. For more information, please look us up at services.harman.com for more details.